Ron Cooper just saw his offense uh, cough up a great scoring opportunity, so they still trail 7-0. He needs to settle down and go with what brought him here. That's been that running game. He needs to establish that. The quarterback he has started the varsity game. It's not saying he's going to get you down the field. That's not one that they're going to make a lot of money on, so to speak. Great pursuit on the part of that Louisville defense. Very speedy. The pride of that man right there. The point that I was trying to make is a lot of times you can overcoach. And I think that Coach Cooper, with the multiple sets that he has, maybe needs to just settle down. Take a look at how young he is. 35 years of age. Very young staff you can see right there. They relate very well to these college people, and it's clear that the Louisville people, in particular the players, really like that man. Land. May have been that uh, Craig Yeast ran the wrong pattern. Flag is down. Yeast had run a go, number three. Now they're saying it was intended for Kevin Coleman, but there was no Wildcat within 10 or 15 yards. See some clapping on the part of Leland Taylor, which would seem to indicate that it's against Kentucky. We said this entire officiating crew from the Big Ten. Offensive pass interference, the call. Very strange. The flag came in quite late. Evidently, a defensive back got pushed down just as the ball was thrown. Pass interference. Offense. Half the distance to the goal line. Repeat, second down. So on the sidelines, you saw Ron Cooper begging to have the, the loss of down. That's not going to happen unless, of course, it is an intentional grounding. That's a difficult penalty for Kentucky because up to this point, with the exception, really, their longest play from scrimmage has been that six-yard touchdown That's right. run. That's right. The MVP is uh, Sanford for his two good punt returns. Walter Mason, 84 in for Coleman, who was lifting at the offensive pass interference, will be the defender. And a second and 18. And the rebound, Brian, outside of Backer, with the hit about the 18 yard line. But in fairness, this is the reason why we mentioned at the top why Billy Jack Haskins has the high completion percentage. He can dump it deep down the field, but when you're coming up third and 16, Bill Curry is very cognizant of the limitations of his quarterback and knows that he's not going to get the ball downfield. They just do not want to turn it over at this point. Jimmy Carter, up from Green to Dunwoody, Georgia. Special team work on both sides, a 33-yard kick, but it only comes back six. 16 returning starters from Boston College. They got a pretty good club. Arnold's just past the midfield strike. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first. Seven up in Kentucky lead. The excellent play action. And all the time when we look at the play, he's scoring after a game of just one. We mentioned Van Hiles, what an outstanding job he has done at corner. He did not buy into the play action fake at all. And he was with Bates man for man. Great coverage on the part of Kentucky's secondary. This is a this was a position of concern for Bill Curry. You can see great play action fake. No pressure at all, but the coverage is outstanding. And once again, you see paint starts to run. <laughs> but he is pulverized once again by Shelton. Hiles doing the job thus far. You can see that helmet to protect him. He's had numerous concussions. Those of the fall of the NFL remember trying to pass him off for him. Well, a sliding attempt that time and a rare miss by Miguel Montano. And that one very catchable by Payne. It'll be third in it. But well, we've complimented his ability to be the possession kind of guy. Watch at the end. If he slides and he's down, technically this could be a catch. Let's take a look at take a look here. There's the ball. 
he's down, the ball just does come out. If for whatever reason, of course, in college football, he's automatically down once he hits the ground, but the ball did pop out to call the defensive. It looked like he may have taken a glance at his feet to make sure they were in bounds and then lost the eye contact with the ball. Plus the drop, third and eight. Blitz comes, short toss, and hit by Hiles. And off comes the bubble. You can see why his style of play kind of leads to, uh, at times, some dangerous uh, collisions. Very, that's a very cogent point. It's interesting to see right there that he led head first. Evidently, either he hasn't learned his lesson or he is absolutely fearless because he came up on a man who outweighs him by a good 40 pounds. There's no more important lesson to learn in football than to uh, it's all the posters and all the locker rooms say, see what you hit. Do not hit anybody ground first. Very high. Into the end zone for a 47 yard effort and a touchback. End zone for no return. Bill Curry at 4 and 7 last year. After a 3 and 3 start, 5 losses by 10 or fewer points. They led or were tied in the fourth quarter in four of those defeats, including the last one when they fell 34-31 to uh, Tennessee. And you see the SEC East results from a year ago. In that game, Billy Jack Haskins had a 40-plus yard run that must have been run back 100,000 times on Kentucky television. If you're good, we might see that ourselves. Good Lord. White run out of the ankle tackle by Rico Clark. He nails him after a pickup of just a couple. Clark who led the Cardinal secondary, 84 tackles a year ago, senior from Decatur, Georgia. Inside a minute 20 to go in the first quarter. Pretty impressive that number of tackles only being 5'10, 178. You think in terms of free safety, you think in terms of range, you guys 6'1, 6'2, 6'3, 205, 210. Clark is not that, but once again, not unlike Van Hiles. That's no fear. All four starters returned in their secondary, 77 career starts between them entering this game. Needed second down. Haskins up the play action. Buried inside the 15 by Rice Luckett and Rondell Marsh. Backup defensive tackle. Diving attempt by Keo Sanford. Even had he brought it in, he didn't have it up for the first down. Five seconds remaining in the court. But he had what he wanted. He had the zone coverage, he had the right read, he just didn't deliver the ball. Obviously a little bit affected by being sacked on the play before. And now, even though Louisville has struggled offensively, the second half of the first quarter, they're clearly winning the battle of field position. Clark should again be able to turn it back uh, over to his offense in Kentucky territory. He expects this Carter punt in his 46 yard line. Straight up in the air. And out of bounds inside the 10. On the final play of the first quarter. One of the reasons why Carter had only averaged 33 yards is he was trying to hurry these punts. This time, instead of going with the two steps, he went with three, and he ends up paying for it. The man who makes the block.